In this video, I'll go step by step and show you how to replace the SSD drive on your MacBook Air. So I chose to take this apart first before I ordered a new one because there are various connections that Apple has used on some of their computers. And so what I'm going to do is I'm going to take it apart and check the connection and get it right the first time and then order the correct SSD drive. The first step before you do anything is to make a full backup of your computer. And I would recommend doing two on two separate drives. And then when that is done, power down your computer because we definitely do not want this on during the procedure. When that is done, you want to place your computer on a towel or a cloth or something upside down and then we'll remove the case. All right, I'm, I've got a MacBook Pro here. Actually, this is not a MacBook Pro. This is a MacBook Air. And so in order to get the case off the back, we're going to need a Torx. These are not Phillips. And then I'm going to place the screws where I found them. Some of them are a bit longer. And so we'll just go around like this and remove them. Now you'll notice here that these two are longer than this one. And so that's important. And so we, in, in, I've done several Macs like this and these are generally longer. But just to keep my life sane, I'm just going to put them here and then I can put them away. Okay, I've got them done. And just like it was with all the other I've had, they have two long ones in the middle. So we'll just take all these screws because they're all the same. And we'll just put them over here. And whatever you do, do not lose these. <laughs> All right, now all the uh, screws are out, and then here's the, the back where the hinge is. And then there's a little place right here that you can start prying up gently. And if it sticks, you gotta be kind of very careful and try and release it. Now this one, I just, as a, just did try and release it, and it stuck a little bit. But I think what's going on is that I have a little bit of debris in here. So we'll set that aside. Now, um, let's zoom in. I'll show you how this is put together. All right, so here is the uh, solid state drive and it's held in place with a single Torx screw. But what we need to do is first we need to disconnect the battery. Now you can see this little plastic tab right here. And so we're going to pull this very gently back this way. Okay, so now the battery is disconnected. And so now we are ready to remove this screw. And this is held with a Torx screw. Now I'm going to make sure I've got my magnifying glass because I want to. Yeah, it's turning. I just want to make sure. We'll take that out. And then we should be able to lift this up. Okay. So the reason I'm taking this apart right now is because in 2017, Apple changed the uh, connection. And so I want to verify this connection right here. So uh, this connection, let's uh, look at the reference chart and I will show you what this is just a second. When you're shopping for a replacement, you have to check the connection. And so the one that I have for this MacBook Air is the, what they're calling on Amazon anyway, is a PCIe for Mac. Not to be confused with this one, which is a PCIe. And you can see that it has a different number of pins on one side than it does the other. So if you are unsure, I suggest that you take the back off Take the SSG out and check the connections before you order. And that's exactly what I did for this computer because I wanted to make sure that I got the right one. All right, now let's look at this connection right here and then I will show you how it compares. As you can see, they've got the slot in the middle. So this is the uh, MacBook Air proprietary connection. And so we need to know that when we're ordering the new hard drive. So I decided to go ahead and take this apart first 
and check it out and then um, I will order it because it's only about five minutes or so to take it apart. So we'll put that back in. To reinstall the SSD, we're going to go in the reverse order that we did to take it out. We're going to come in from an angle. We're going to slide that in. All the way in. And we're going to make sure they have a good connection. Like that. Put it down and then we'll replace the screw. Okay, so the handy thing here is you've got a magnet tip screw right like I do. And jam it in there ahead of time. Just take it down snug and no more. And then we're going to reattach the battery very gently. Come back out. And then we're going to put it in until it's good and connected. Okay, make sure that's flush. All right, so I'm just going to go ahead and clean up this. Some debris has accumulated over time in this little groove. I'm going to go ahead and clean this out. Be very careful, don't touch any of the electronics. I'm just going to work on the actual seal here. And then I'm gonna do the same with this one. We'll clean this as well along the edges and everything else. Now, here's the case. You got the vent side and you've got this little, you can see where this goes here. So the vent side goes towards the hinge. Okay, make sure it's down good. And then remember, it's really simple. We just have the two longer screws right in the middle. <coughs> and then we will just pop all these in and we'll just screw it down and power it back on. Now, when we're doing the actual one, which I will do a follow-up video when I actually replace it, then you have to um, get your data transferred over to the new one, and I will show you that in a follow-up video. But for now, but for now, I'm going, I know exactly which one I need to order, and I will order that one, and then, um, We'll just swap that out and I'll show you how to transfer all your data over seamlessly. So the next step, we've got these here. We're just going to screw them down. And uh, in general, when you're putting screws back on an assembly like this, the way I like to do it is to get them all uh, started, go all the way around, but I don't tighten it down to the very end. It probably won't matter on a Mac, but it's just a habit I do when I put things back together. And um, just so I never force these. If they don't go in right, then back right out and try again. Okay, now I'm just going to go around and just snug them up. So thanks for watching and stay tuned for updates where I'll show you how to transfer your data to the new hard drive.